This might get weird. Are we rolling? We're rolling. Well, then cheers, Grace Helbig. Cheers, Memory Heart. Wowie zowie. I'm not even going to lie. When I was just saying cheers, I was like, am I... What's her name? <laughs> I, I'm so heat stroked right now. It feels crazy. Yeah, you went outside and you decided on a, what, 94 degree day to take a five mile walk or something? Honestly, <laughs> I only got two miles, but I didn't even think about it because I've been such an indoor kid lately. Oh, same. That I knew it was going to be hot. I obviously leave the house and I walk beans, but I didn't, I did not, I did not. I, I started fading fast. Like yeah. I had thoughts crossing people. Like I was like, do I sit on the curb? <laughs> How do I, how do I take care of myself, but don't look like I need someone to come and call an ambulance for me? I was literally like, oh no, the nearest, like (laughs) bodegas don't take Apple Pay. I only have my phone. You just got to make it till you get to Bill's Liquor. (laughs) I know who takes Apple Pay and who doesn't. This is what you get for trying to do some health for yourself. What was I thinking? I don't know. Inside is where it's at. You know what else is crazy? Huh? It's so fucking hot and I still sauna bagged this morning. How do you do that? You know why? Why? Because I got, I'm accidentally hung over a little bit today. Oh, okay. I think I sweated it out of my body between the walk and the sauna bag. But I was like, you deserve punishment. (laughs) This is what you've asked for. This is what you get for getting a little drunk on a Monday. I mean, it happens to the best of us. That's why I've been trying to work out in our garage in the morning because it's just hot enough Mm -hmm. in there that it feels like you start sweating from Faster. very little work and it gives the <laughs> yeah, illusion yeah, 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 that I'm yeah, like, oh my yeah. God, I am, look at me go. A I'm thousand, an Iron Man right now. A thousand percent. <laughs> no, but I mean, I can rationalize it so much. I'll walk beans and I'll come back and I'll have so much boob sweat that I'll be like, <laughs> I just lost two pounds under my titties. That's I, I now when I take Goose out because her schedule is like the middle of the day. So she's regardless of how hot it is, she is like, I have Ready to go. To yeah, I'm going to hold my shit until you take me outside. Good for and her. I have to look through my wardrobe and be like, what? Can I sweat in that looks appropriate out in public? Oh, for like the boob smiles? <laughs> yeah, all of it. Ooh. Just full armpits because I get, yeah, it is, um, I'm not, I'm not bred for outdoors. I don't think I ever really was. Are you still putting, um, female height jean, what are, pads? Are pads. you still putting pads in your armpits? Um, I haven't needed to do that for it because I haven't been in public. Um, but when, like when we were in Vegas for Katy Perry, yeah, I put it in the armpits of that dress that I wore just okay. because I, regardless of the amount of clinical strength deodorant, mm. when I am excited at all or nervous, my right armpit. Really? You're a righty. Uh, as of recently, I've only noticed that more. But wow. yeah, but that's a trick I learned from Attack of the Show way, 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 way back is that they would, they would ask you when they give you their wardrobe robe uh for the show like are you a sweater (gasps) and And you said no that's a dress not a sweater yeah and uh, yeah I really made friends but they I was like oh no I'm fine and then after the first episode I did I was like oh I'm a sweater and then they started putting pads in the armpits and I was like this is great let me tell you Mm -hmm. until right now yeah (laughs) I have always been confused by this concept because I thought you were taking out a pad yeah Taking off the back. Yeah. And sticking them into your armpits. Sticking what? I thought you were putting the maxi pad in your armpit, not in the clothing. Oh, I mean... <laughs> No, no, it doesn't stick to that. You gotta stick it to the clothing part. I don't know why that's what I thought. If I could get something to stick to my armpits, that's inferring that they're dry. There's no that's way. why it felt counterproductive in my head. I was like, don't really get the don't really get the clothes. No, she's got this new ritual that she does oh. with her clothing. <laughs> but no. no. It's uh for like award shows or yeah. events or things like that. Especially when you're wearing just like a plain color of something yeah. that's not patterned and will obviously show a lot of sweat yeah I, I do that it doesn't I have a hard time getting them to actually stay in place though that's the mm-hmm. other thing so it's kind of like sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't oh well life hack from two thriving adult women you know it <laughs> one of them had not just pictured it completely differently in my head for years and years and years I'm glad we got that cleared up this week oh what's been going on why are you accidentally hung over on mm. a Tuesday from a Monday you know well, okay. okay. The truth is, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> My friend Kiwi invited me. It was one of those things where, like, she invited me to an event, mm-hmm. and 
I had said no to the two previous things. Uh, so then on number three, you're like, yeah, yeah, you know, and I had said I'd go like a week earlier, not re- not remembering like Chip was going to be home and him and I mm. were going to be like hadn't seen each other a month. Yeah. Cocktails, dinner, like, raging. Yeah. You know, like the whole nine yards. And um, even when we're chill, we're still like, yeah, it, it's more sensory than I get. <laughs> Yeah, it's <laughs> you guys are excited to be around each other. Yes. You're chilling. You're having a chill rage. We yeah, we had a yep. chill we had a change the last yep. 5 days. <laughs> and so then it's a Monday and I'm like, "Oh, I oh god. Okay, I'll go to the thing." Uh-huh. But it looked cool because she has a friend uh-huh. um or an acquaintance who's coming out with a gin line. A gin. Oh, cool. Yeah. Okay. And okay. so it was this gin line and they were doing like essentially the launch party for the gin line. Okay. Guess where it was? I saw some clips. It was at No Vacancy where we had our Dirty 30 premiere party. Yeah, okay. I just the second time I've ever been there. Yeah, I haven't been there since. Uh, and it, there were also acrobatic Well, okay, so performers. here's the deal. is So we go, and I, like I said, I haven't been there in six years since the Dirty 30 premiere party. Yeah. And I look Oof. at Kiwi and I go, just a heads up. Well, no, she goes, <laughs> she goes, it's so bright. She goes, I don't think I've ever been here when it, unless it was like a weird, long Hollywood night. And yeah. I go, well, I've been here once. and I missed my flight the next day. <laughs> yes. So that's my track record at this place. Also a weird, long Hollywood night. <laughs> oof, oof. And for you guys listening, uh, No Vacancy is basically a bar, like a speakeasy, I guess, mm. in plop down in Hollywood that's a house it looks like an old house from like the prohibition era yeah but so we go and the gin cocktail is good and all that jazz but so it's this woman who is doing the gin cocktail line with Dita Von Teese okay the world's the most famous Betty Boop yeah the world's most famous uh burlesque dancer yeah essentially and so we walk in (laughs) and (laughs) Kiwi is like me she wears like crazy patterns like she looks like yeah, vacation I've seen the, dad the photos of you guys dressed in matching outfits yes. to events yes. <laughs> so i show up at her house in just a lime dress yes like very gack yeah inspired yes, right yes yes and she comes down the stairs and she's wearing a tropical print onesie that has a lot of the green in it like to the point where i look at it and i go is that a crocodile on the print i almost wore crocodile earrings like we're insane people <laughs> you guys are like old palm springs biddies yes so we get dropped off from the uber and they hadn't opened the doors it was like running late and we just walk up to like a sea of everyone's in like black Uh and like gothy or (gasps) dominatrixy and like the first person that kiwi sees that she knows is like all black and is holding a purse that looks like a witchcraft spells book and says how she's (laughs) almost done finishing her second tarot deck okay cool uh, and we're we're like different we're like hi (laughs) <laughs> yeah, you guys are just as Romy and Michelle at a goth party. We're like, oh! <laughs> like, six, witch- uh, six witchcraft purse. Do you like my dragon fruit earrings? Yeah, you legally blonde walking in. <laughs> I mean, truly. And so we go in there and, it, and then we walk around the corner. We're like the second people there because we were at the back of the line. Uh-huh. And then someone came out and goes, guys, we're actually entering through this ba- other door okay. so then we were the first in line oh, so wow. we're like oh god this is embarrassing <laughs> like was sorry everyone not sorry so we get in i r- turn the corner and there's just a, a beautiful man <laughs> with glasses like a ymca like leather boy hat uh-huh. and full like stirrups just lounging <laughs> And then I'm like, what is happening here? And then I look over and it's a girl with a crop. And I'm like, oh, oh no. Oh, no. The line uh, seemed to be informing you of what you were about to experience. I mean, I knew it was going to be like cool and whatever because Dita Von Tees, But I was like, I didn't know they were just going to be like, yeah, they weren't even like handing out drinks. They They're were just there. just there to like gyrate a little. To be uh, ambiance. But mind you. It's 95 degrees, yeah. broad daylight, 6 p.m. <sighs> like, that's not when I want my my crotch to possibly be looked at. Yeah, I don't know that these, you know, performers, this is their normal gig. The, these leather daddies. It was, it was And I was just like, what? And so you could just hear the squeaking of the body sweat against the pleather and leather. And, <laughs> I, and deal, I was like, he was killing it. And me and Kiwi just kept looking at it being like, how is he not drenched in sweat? And I was like, well, the one time I was here, I was wearing a leather dress and I was drenched in sweat. <laughs> Honestly, you should have just worn what you wore uh, to 
part of that party for Seriously. this one. Um, but so anyway, we have like one drink, and for some reason, Kiwi can just like cannot cool off, and it's like, <laughs> it's it's warm, what have you. But like ever since I met her at her house, she was like, I can't, I'm schwitzing, I can't stop sweating. So we're there, and she's like, I just can't, stop. I can't sweat anymore. I can't oh, be no. here. And she's not a gin person, too. Oh. So she was like getting through it. Yeah. I thought it was delicious. <laughs> but so anyway, we just hear this little bell. We're like, oh, God, what is happening? And a woman comes out, full bustier. Yeah. And it's like, if you have cards, one through eight. And then, like, you know, a little sex gimp comes out and holding a sign. <laughs> one, one through eight. And they're like, please report upstairs for a gin tasting sensory experience oh and i look at kiwi and i'm like what's happening and <gasps> so then the woman comes over and it's her actual friend right okay and so we're like what's this card thing and she's like oh we're doing like a sensory experience upstairs and um you're gonna have to be more specific so like here's your cards and she hands us cards and, and our cards are like 37 and 38 oh, okay Whew. and so we're like okay that buys us some time um and actually we look at each other and we go there's no way we're going to this <laughs> but, what is it? That well, would give me panic. Thing. well i see like dude behind me yeah taking pics just ass out you yeah. know what i mean <laughs> and then and then they say that and i was like kiwi i don't want to go up to a private room with eight people because you know uh -huh. i go you know what it's probably gonna be it's you know what it's gonna be and kiwi they're gonna blindfold you looks terrified and goes <gasps> up close magic <laughs> <laughs> she, that was legitimately her fear <laughs> she you was wish. gonna have to be in a small room and watch up close magic <laughs> I was like, no, it's gonna be like, let's tickle you with the feather while yeah. you taste the, while you tell me what notes uh -huh. are you're tasting in this gin. I was like, up close I would magic. love to go up there to see some up close magic. Uh, so we did not. We stayed uh. for one drink, and uh, you know, immediately I was like, all right, well, she's gonna say bye to her friend. Yeah. Make something up. like they started thirty minutes late. Mm -hmm. Say so we have dinner reservation. She just goes up. She goes, it's too hot. <laughs> But so we left there and we got in the Uber and I was like, Kiwi, I showered on a Monday. Yeah. And I, and we, it, the Uber took us longer to get there yeah. than like we were there. So we decided to go to this other place and have some cocktails and then like classic us one turned into like five yeah as we're like i'm telling her an idea for a script she starts brainstorming <laughs> she and then you know she thinks you she, guys are solving all the world's problems <laughs> she, <laughs> she asks the bar she asks the owner can i take my drink outside i just want a cigarette so now we're just drinking in front of the restaurant in sunset on sunset boulevard but until they close and they're like we need the glasses back <laughs> you two in the neon give us those glasses back <laughs> it was wild so anyway i came home and this morning i was like whoops you did absolute it. whoops but i it mean was delicious and fun yeah did you i guess you guys didn't get any free gin or anything no Ugh. what's no. the name of the gin uh, yeah non-spawn it's called sweet gwendolyn oh. but so the bottle looks but so that makes sense it's data von Tees. it's like a like an outline of like a black dominatrix oh, okay so it's like very it, it made sense in that speakeasy kind yeah, of vibe totally but wow in broad daylight on a monday i mean imagine showing up to the gig and being like Wait, you want me outside in the sunshine <laughs> wearing this? Really thought I was going to be indoors on like a chaise lounge. Right, with some sort of controlled environment. Okay, we'll do nope. this at 90 degrees. It was hilarious. It sounds uh, like an experience. Yeah, it was. There and that's go. all we can ask for in this life. Exactly. Y'all, before we know it, summer is going to be over. And are you going to want to look back and be like, wow, I sure spent a lot of time in the grocery store. No! So that's why you should just use HelloFresh for delicious meals. HelloFresh delivers fresh, quality produce from the farm to your door in less than a week, allowing you to enjoy the delicious flavors of the season right from home. And they've got over 55 weekly options so you can take the stress out of planning and also their meals are quick to make so you're not going to be in your hot hot kitchen dripping over your saute pan they've even got 20 minute meals with low prep low cleanup to provide an even faster route to putting food on the table around your pack schedule and what I love about HelloFresh, I've said it once, I'll say it again, is they have incredible veggie options. I am so excited because this week I'm gonna get one of my favorites of HelloFresh and it's their plant-based protein, we love to hear it, Messy Janes. Ooh, we 
love it. It comes with pickled onions and a bun and these potato wedges and just brings me back to my childhood when I actually couldn't eat these because I was vegetarian and we didn't have any of this invented yet. I'm so looking forward to it. Also, they have these edamame and cauliflower fritters and you guys know I am in my cauliflower era. So, if you would like to try HelloFresh and get up in those sloppy Janes, among a million other delicious meals, go to HelloFresh.com slash TMGW16 and use code TMGW16 for 16 free meals across seven boxes and three free gifts. Wow, that is HelloFresh.com slash TMGW16 and use promo code TMGW16 for 16 free meals across seven boxes and three free gifts. Wow, that's a really good gift from America's number one meal kit. I love the sun this time of year. Who doesn't? But when it comes to protecting my skin from it, that's a whole other story. I got supple, sensitive skin, and some sunscreen can leave me feeling sticky or greasy after applying. But thanks to native sunscreen, I get both face and body protection that's lightweight and does not leave me feeling sticky or greasy. With native, you get broad spectrum SPF 30 mineral sunscreens that don't leave greasy, heavy sunscreen feels that lots of other sunscreens do. Native offers lightweight, non-greasy formulas that are easy to spread and blend seamlessly on all skin tones, leaving a matte finish with zero streaks. Get the scents of summer, like get this coconut and pineapple, ooh, rosé, ooh. Or for those with sensitive skin, try the unscented. All native sunscreen is made from plant and mineral-based ingredients, like naturally derived non-nano zinc oxide, obviously. Native has your back with face and body formulas. Native's face sunscreen is made with avocado oil, ooh, and their body sunscreen Sunscreen contains vitamin E. Just like native products that are eco-friendly, native sunscreen is Hawaiian compliant, so their formulas are free of oxybenzones and octinoxates. Mm-hmm, rolls off the tongue, which makes them super island friendly. Protect your skin with Native's mineral-based sunscreens. Go to nativedo.com slash TMGW20 or use promo code TMGW20 at checkout to get 20% off your first order. That's nativedo.com slash TMGW20 or use promo code TMGW20 at checkout for 20% off your first order. nativedo.com slash TMGW20 or use promo code TMGW20. Did you see, um, speaking of like people dressed in certain things, did you see Teresa Giudice's oh my Guidici's? Is it Giudice or I don't know. Giudice. You would think she has been in the public zeitgeist for, I don't know, 15 years and we still don't know how to say it. Like I made one of my first You Deserve a Drinks, I think, for her. Wow. Like, we've been saying it a long wow. time, and I still don't know how to say it. I don't know either. She seems to change it up, but I, that well, might yeah. not even be her last name anymore. She got married, and that's the... Yeah. The wedding look was quite a look. She... <laughs> I heard her hairdo cost $10,000. What? I... Hold on. Let me so look it up. So for those of you that didn't see yeah, it... Yeah, yeah. You give them... I you highly pick. encourage you to do a quick Google image search. Um, imagine, like... Uh, three drag queen wigs on top of each other <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. It's like with a, a big crown in front like what are the it's the mini challenge it's yeah. a drag race mini challenge where they just put up on all the wigs all the wigs and it's like an actual like ho- po- horse pony tail it felt like going down to her back in full curls like it looks like it's from the whole aesthetic look very much from like the 90s it lo- um, yeah 80s, it looks 90s. like she was she's like marrying a mafia boss yes. in the in like the late 80s yes yes it's yes, yes, insane. yes no it says um so the the final look costs more than seven thousand but that doesn't include wow. the twenty five hundred dollars it costs to pay the stylist to put it on <sighs> it, I, I like how many pieces is it how it much says, does it weigh okay it says It's made up of seven bundles of keratin fusion extension, one pack of clips, and more than 1,500 bobby pins. How do you ever she get been, them all out? If, if if a storm would have happened, she would have been struck by lightning. She had so much metal in her. <laughs> she would have been a lightning rod. Like, <laughs> do you know how annoyed I am when I come home after a night like last night and have to get 
five bobby pins out of my hair <laughs> i can't do I usually, it i usually find one the next day like your wedding night he's wanting to get it on and she's like gotta get my bobby pins i've only got about 300 of them out i have uh, 1200 to go it's a vibe and then they were on the dance did you see the dance floor no i did not see the dance floor they filled I, it with fog wow <laughs> i mean she's living her best like sweet 16 yeah. as an adult woman it's, look i guess when you I say, you know, this woman, she knew she was avoiding taxes. She did a bunch of fucked up stuff. I don't think she's a good person in general. But I guess if you like get out of prison. Yeah. You're like, I'm having the fucking wedding I want. I'm doing whatever I want. I'm doing whatever I want. Yeah. There's a lot of drama around it. A lot of the housewives did not go. Uh Her sister-in-law did not go and brother did not go. Yeah. wait they didn't go they uh, they were having their own party down at the jersey shore that they were like instagram storying <gasps> yeah so it's like a lot of shade and tea has been coming not out not in new jersey not in new jersey apparently they already wrapped the um uh series finale the reunion for the next season and oh. i guess some rumor blew up at the reunion and that kept them from going to the actual wedding um so well, I a have a lot to I, happen in this upcoming season of I, Jersey Housewives. I only watch Beverly Hills now. Yeah. But I do I do appreciate a Teresa from afar. Yeah. I mean, she I, crazy as hell. I thought that this was like a 16 year old getting going to like Quinceanera. Yeah. Uh, when I first saw the photos on Instagram and then I had to do like a wait, what? It's terrifying. <laughs> it's absolutely oh sorry there you go oh geez there oh god go. that one's for you chip <laughs> that one's for you um speaking of terrible hair yeah did you see that kid in alabama mm-hmm. that was running around his neighborhood in a chucky costume <laughs> no what no <laughs> no look, look at oh. him crossing the street <gasps> and that so is someone tweeted this horrifying this was in um pinson alabama Oh my God. And this woman, Kendra Walden, spotted the figure (gasps) resembling Chucky, uh, like prowling the neighborhood and a striped shirt. And she said, I almost had a heart attack. So she tweeted, dear parents of the little boy in the Chucky costume in Pinson, get your kid. (gasps) It's it's an actual child. It's a a Halloween costume, (sighs) but it's, it's totally crazy. But the mom was like, the mom is quoted saying, he loves to make people laugh. (laughs) That's just crazy kind of how his personality is and i don't like i'm not a person like here's a deal okay here's a could you yeah here's a could you yeah could you deal if perfect person it's elliot he's wonderful yeah everything about him but he loves dressing as michael myers for for every halloween like he he's into michael myers i am such a scaredy cat thank you that like even someone that i know is underneath a costume yep I I cannot um, differentiate separate yeah no. I, my imagination goes too hard that's why I can't do like Halloween Horror Nights I can't no, do like hell no I can't do haunted houses haunted hay rides any of that stuff like that stuff freaks me I'm gonna tell out you, sitting right here if I saw a little Chucky yeah walk past my house yeah I'd move yeah <laughs> yeah 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 <laughs> I'd be gone I'd move I'd be gone um I even feel like, like those costumes should be like this this is me being like such an old woman i feel like you should be able to rent them but not own them why do you need them the rest of the year why do you need them the rest of the year and how do you make i mean uh, this comes down to i guess a local issue how do you yeah. how do you stop that from happening technically they're not doing anything i guess illegal, they're being right? a nuisance like yeah. what would the charge be right public indecency like <laughs> legally someone could just walk their dog in a scream mask like yeah. legally that's fine i don't want to give anyone any ideas about any of that <laughs> stuff i will say of all the ones scream the scream one to me is the least scary scream one yeah i feel like that one's because become, of like scary movie and things it's been memed so much yeah. that it kind of loses will it still scare me if i don't expect it of course it will yeah any of those kind of masks like that's why even those um uh special effects shows yeah. you know like i don't think i could even participate in really? any capacity on that show i'd be too scared of the people after they got all their prosthetics well, <laughs> i did back in the day in new york i did a promo commercial for mtv yeah because my friend alan was directing it and he was like do you want to come be a zombie oh. like essentially they were based they were doing like a send-up commercial that was like 
real world zombies uh-huh. okay. you know what i mean and be like they're in the house and like zombies are all attacking so i got done up in like full by snl people zombie wow and it was terrifying right it was yeah. so scary. i mean we have like pictures of us like laughing at lunch and whatever yeah. but it was so scary and i had like gashes and boils and everything and so what i did is i when i was getting out of it i was going to a kickball game <laughs> or like a, it was like a party Classic. <laughs> and i said will you leave the gash on my leg i'm gonna <gasps> pretend oh no I'll capture the flag i was going to capture the flag i was like i'm gonna pretend i fell <laughs> No. And like have people come over, right? And I was like, you know, I like wore pants and I did all that. And then oh. what I didn't realize is when I was like, oh, you know, like here's my big moment. Yeah. The one person with a kid, the kid came over and was like, what? <laughs> no, I was like, <laughs> it's fake, like, it's fake, it's fake, it's fake, it's but fake. But yeah, I couldn't have like left the contacts in and looked at myself later. No, I, I don't, I can't do any of that stuff. I get too yeah. freaked out by um, any sort of creepy costumes face stuff all of that see i think i'd even be scared of the batman and i know that elliot yeah. likes batman well even at like um uh when we were at disney and there's like groot walking around and stuff like that <laughs> i was like haha from a distance but like as it started to come towards us i was like no 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 <laughs> and i'm dressed like a 12 year old child and scared I'm, of groot. i can just feel myself being activated of being like everything is safe and fine but for some reason i don't like this i yeah. don't like it near me he's a gentle giant but i get it and i don't i don't want to touch the texture no, 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 no. That's, I'm okay with that, without that. <laughs> Have you seen this um, designer trash pouch? It is a price. Uh, I have a name. <laughs> <laughs> I know this is like it's an actual what? trash bag, um, but it's seventeen hundred dollars, eighteen hundred dollars basically. Wait, let me say first of all, so it's a purse well, that looks like a trash bag. And there's also when I was looking it up because I just took this screenshot from Instagram that I saw it uh, from now this news, so I don't have like the actual link to what this was. But there's a designer trash pouch, and then when I looked it up, it's that Kim Kardashian had a hefty inspired handbag. Uh, like front row at some mm-hmm. fashion Balenciaga. event and it's yeah basically the same thing yeah it's the same it's the same bag it's I'm gonna say it right here $1,800 they are ripping off fashion brand company Penelope Gazin who mm. I wear a lot of her crazy stuff yeah she came out with a miniature trash bag with the loop and everything like two years ago well, shit. So uh, you you heard it here first. <laughs> yeah. I love that this That's article bullshit. says the $1,790 sack is inspired by the humble garbage bag. Just carry As a garbage bag. As opposed to what? Yeah, just carry a garbage bag. We've all done it. We've all used that instead of luggage. Yeah. For many different things. <laughs> I mean. Um, so I, I feel like my aesthetic is being used in fashion, but I do not like the price tag on it. Ah. Um, and I can't believe it. This so is, yeah, that's so crazy. She came out with one oh, yeah, literally yeah. like three years ago, and now they're just ripping her off. Yeah. I mean, everyone is stealing from everyone stealing, else constantly. Stealing, stealers. Constantly. Um, ordering all of your summer essentials with Dash Pass by DoorDash is a great way to get everything you need. And during the summer of Dash Pass, you can save money and access members only offers that will help you feel easy and breezy all season long. Say hello to summer savings during the summer summer of Dash Pass from DoorDash. With $0 delivery fees, exclusive items, and more than 25,000 members only offers nationwide, Dash Pass by DoorDash has everything you need to make your summer memorable. With Dash Pass by DoorDash, the membership, you can save an average of 4 to $5 on every order you place for delivery or pickup. That means on average, Dash Pass pays for itself when you order just twice a month. With members only offers and items dropping every week, you'll have every Everything you need to make the most of summer right at your fingertips shine bright during Doring Door Dash's Summer of Dash Pass and get 50% off your first order up to $15 in value. Use promo code TMGW2022 at checkout when you spend $12 or more. That's 50% off your first order up to $15 in value when you sign up for Door Dash during Summer of Dash Pass using promo code TMGW2022. Once again, don't forget that's code TMGW2022 for 50% off your first order up to $15 in value. Dash pass benefits only on eligible orders that meet the minimum subtotal terms apply. 
Summertime is full of official events. I feel like every weekend there is a wedding or a graduation or a birthday cookout, but everyone knows that the best parts of summer are the unofficial parts. That's right. This summer, Coors Light is the official beer of everything unofficial. Okay, we're going to celebrate those moments that truly make summer chill. That's right. Summer might be the official warmest time of the year, but unofficially, it is the chillest. You know I love a Coors Light. You know there is nothing better than cracking open one of those silver bullets after you've I had a long day. I'm getting ready to go to North Carolina, and my favorite thing, as I've said before, is tubing down a river. You put your Coors Lights in the mesh bag. You keep it cold by the crispness of the water. You crack open that when you're in the blazing sun, and oh my word, you are cooled off, my friend. I officially am excited to have my unofficial first Coors Light in a river of the season. It is the best, and you know it's going to be cold because... You got eyes, honey. The mountains on the bottles and can turn blue when your beer is cold, so you don't have to question it. You're always going to know when it's time to chill. And when you need to hit reset, just open a Coors Light. It's mountain cold refreshment made to chill. Of course, we are going to celebrate responsibly when we are indulging in this delicious nectar from the Coors Brewing Company from Golden, Colorado. So, summer chill starts with Coors Light. Make the most of your summer with a chance to win exclusive chill merch, fun local experiences, and even a trip to New York, Chicago, or Los Angeles. Enter to win at CoorsLight.com slash TMGW. Ah, how fun! There's no purchase necessary. Sweepstake ends. 8 15 22 game ends 9 6 22 50 us dc 21 plus only void where prohibited for rules visit coarselightsummer.com what was i gonna say oh uh this is a weird co- oh you know what yeah i have been a hit in this neighborhood this week oh what happened get ready okay several several interactions with the older Asian American community in my neighborhood. Okay. They love me. Okay, okay. First of all. Paint me a picture. <laughs> well, first of all, there's just three. I've got my guy, Caddy Corner, to me. Mm-hmm. He's got like a 1952, like, army jeep. Mm-hmm. He keeps parked in his front yard, okay. right? Granted, I think we have different political views. He has said the quickest made a way to meet the Lord is to come on my property. He's got like a sign that says that. Oh, <laughs> I was like, wait, what? He said this to you? I was like, you shouldn't interact with this person anymore. He's a sweet older man. And he always asked me about my Bronco. Okay. And because I had to get like the battery replaced. And he's been driving around in his old Jeep around the neighborhood, you know, just taking out a little like fun cruise. And he asked me if I wanted a ride. (gasps) I didn't get in. (laughs) How do you politely decline that offer? (laughs) It doesn't even have a windshield. I said, I'm good, sir. I was like, buddy, you know, I'll take you around to the Bronco. Cut to. Two days later, yeah, I'm walking. This lady approaches me, mask, hat, like uh, sunglasses, can't see her face at all. Yeah, right. She comes up to me. She's with, in the witness protection yeah. program. <laughs> Gives me the same line she always does. Okay, about beans. Is that a cat? <laughs> I said, "How dare you? You got me again." <laughs> Wait, and she knows that you know that this I don't woman think does she it. knows that I have registered this. Okay, so maybe, yeah, she might lose her memory. Every but other I know day. this lady. So anyway, she starts talking to me. She goes, it's a beautiful dog. And she was like, "There, you need to watch this program. It comes on at, like on Channel 9 at 11 on Mondays. And meanwhile, I'm like, cable doesn't exist anymore, ma'am. <laughs> she's, she's like, it's called Incredible Dogs. It's out of Korea. She's just talking and it keeps going. Then she starts talking to me about her, how her son lives in Century City and mm-hmm. he works for Google and she has this house. Then she talked to me about her new ring cameras for like 20. I'm standing wow. there holding beans <laughs> like a baked potato for, I'm not kidding. I clocked it. It was 25 minutes. Oh my God. And she kept talking to me about so much stuff. I'm just going, mm-hmm, yeah. And like, you know when you can't hear someone? So you're like, I I get every other word that's happening. like, is saying, yeah, offensive? Like, right, I don't even right. know what she just said. And so I'm doing all that. And then at the end, she she was like, well, what's your name? I was like, it's Mame. And um, she said her name. And then she goes, one day, me and you, we're going to the Sizzler. <laughs> I, said, I said, it's a deal. <laughs> I said, I'm treating. Oh, my God. So that was two interactions this week. Which one, uh, the shocking thing to me is that the Sizzler made it through the pandemic. I, you know, friggin' no. Well, I'm curious though, because the soup plantation, great establishment, yeah. terrible name. Yeah, yeah, beckons yeah. of some bad places. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, didn't survive. That's across <gasps> the street from it. Wow. Because it's all 
buffet. Yeah. But isn't that what Sizzler is too? That's how I remember Sizzler. I couldn't tell you the last time I was in one, but that's my memory of it. It's like, like old country buffet. Like the only benefit of it is the all you can eat vibes. Right. So with that taken away, you're telling me people are just going to order Sizzler? To order off the menu? What the <laughs> hell is that? <laughs> what do they offer? That's crazy. <laughs> okay, so anyway, I'm walking beans again. This was two days ago. Uh-huh. I'm walking. We we normally don't go on this block because it's extra long. Okay. And like I was like, you know what, babe? <laughs> I'm treating today. So Uh-oh. we go. Beans is Beans is cruising like she's gotten away with murder somehow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe she's letting she's me do this. like, holy <laughs> shit, I'm on the long block. I'm on the long block. Check it out, guys. <laughs> And, you know, I'm talking to her the whole time being like, you better keep up that clippy pace. Yeah, uh, yeah. This is going to take nine days to get. <laughs> so anyway, we go and I look up and out of the corner of my eye, I see an old man hit the fucking ground. <gasps> an older man like walking fall over, uh-huh. like out from his house, fall <gasps> over. His back is to me. He's like half a long block up. He's not getting up. And I'm like, oh, no. oh my God. So I pick up means and I run to him. Yeah. And I'm like, sir, are you OK? And when I'm, I'm thinking this man's having a heart attack. Yeah. Right? And when I get to him and like see his face, he smiles at me. He goes, oh, my knee gave out. I'm OK. I'm OK. And I was like, oh, my God. I was like, I thought, oh, I was so scared. I saw you fall. I didn't know if you were having a heart attack. He goes, no, it's just my knee. But thank you. That's like really sweet. Yeah. And then. And I was like, do you want me to help you up? And he was like, no, no, it's okay. He was just embarrassed and like thanked me profusely. Uh-huh. But And then I left and I was like, I'm a, I'm this neighborhood's hero. Yeah, I'm, I'm mean- taking old ladies to Sizzler, <laughs> riding in Jeeps with old guys, saving men who fall down. You're a magnet for uh, all these people. I was walking today on my walk and a woman dropped all her mail in the middle of the road. <laughs> and then a car came and she was like, stop, stop. And there was a breeze. And I ran out and I grab, helped her get all her receipts. Wow. And she, I mean, what's going on? I'm getting some good karma, guys. I was going to say you are racking it up this week. I'm not looking for these moments. They are finding me. <laughs> you should fix up the woman that wants to go to Sizzler yeah. with the guy with the Jeep. Oh. And let them go together. Oh, see, that would be good. But I don't know if his wife would like that. Oh, uh, OK. He's married. Got yeah. it. OK. That they, makes sense. they are the couple. Remember one time? Um, oh, I've saved a couple dogs in this neighborhood. But <laughs> the one that I didn't have to follow for 45 minutes and I found is their sons. And it was the, the mm. dog named Brian. Oh, yes, 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 named, yes. I think his name was Brian. And it was like... <laughs> Jason, Brian, I think I'm Something mixing up dogs. Dude name. He still sends me an animated Happy Thanksgiving gif. Really? Every year. On, on Thanksgiving? Just no. Thanksgiving. Oh, okay, okay. Just Thanksgiving. Wow, it's like the only one he knows how to send out. <laughs> so he just waits for that day and then fires them to off everyone. to everyone. To everyone. But anyway. <laughs> so yeah, big week in this neighborhood. <laughs> wow. I mean, I, uh, I can't wait to hear what happens the next time you leave your house. Everyone's just going to be standing on the outside of the fence waiting for you to leave your brother and be like, Mame, Mame, we have some ideas There's for There's a line forming right now of someone being like, I need you to fix my remote uh, you're, you're, does this look infected you're becoming yeah just this oracle in your neighborhood <laughs> uh, uh did you so see stupid. there's this well one mm. this um is a horrible thing that happened jesus christ on the heels of my karma i well uh, did you hear about people that got stuck on the it's a small world ride no but that's crazy i know that's like an actual like comic torture. nightmare like that's what they would play into a torture chamber they got stuck on it for an hour while Whoa. the ride was go like the audio of the ride was going on repeat like the that's a new type of hell and some of the ships or ships them the like uh yeah, what boats, are they little boats are they little in? boats yeah because you go through water and it's like the whole mm. thing uh started sinking no <laughs> yeah and so it's just like i guess a huge malfunction in the whole uh the whole ride but that is truly a nightmare i didn't know that like i i had in my body what that would be an incredibly bad way to die. Yeah, I feel like the Magic Kingdom should offer like therapy for these people. Sue them, sue them. Because <laughs> honestly, think about it. One hour of listening to It's a Small World After All on repeat. It's like, just three li- It's just it's a small world after all. It's a small world uh-huh. after all. It's a small, small world after all. It's a small, 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 small world. That's yep, it, right? That's all I know. Are there like verses 
I think it's and in different languages that when you go through, oh. you hear the different languages, but people were stuck in place in whatever spot they were on the ride. Yeah. And that to me is oh. horrifying. I guess there are some additional. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Oh, okay. There's two verses. Wow. One, and uh, they must like take it down. Cause you know, sometimes you'll be listening to a song. You've only heard the radio version and then you hear it and you're like, what's this weird verse? <laughs> yeah, where'd this part come from? <laughs> I'm glad they cut that one <laughs> yeah, for yeah. the radio. <laughs> But that there's two quick verses. It's a world of laughter, a world of tears. It's a world of hope and a world of fears. There's so much that. that we share and it's time that we are aware. It's a small world after all. The next one. Uh -huh. There is just one moon. Oh, yeah. And one golden sun. And yes. a smile means friendship to everyone. Through the mountains divide and the oceans are wide. It's a small world after all. Wow. The poetry is really telling. Also, like... Uh, but if you listen to It's a World of Fears for an hour That's straight. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> like, and your boat starts sinking. My brain wouldn't be the and same. Then a, and then a little Chucky in a different <laughs> boat. <laughs> That's by. what I thought you were going to say when you ran up to that old man. That he just had like a clown face painted on uh, when he turned around. Oh, speaking uh -oh. of small worlds and moons and stuff. Do you mm -hmm. see that scientist tweeted out a photo of a piece of chorizo yeah. and said it was a planet? I have that on my notes. <laughs> It's, it's a French scientist who's... Um, yeah, what's the, what's the deal with it? So th this person tweeted out a picture of a chorizo. But um, it does look close. like a blurry, oh, yeah. distant planet. And basically um, was saying that it was a photo of a piece of chorizo on just a black background, claimed it was from the James Webb Space Telescope. <laughs> <laughs> and it's all in French, all of their... Um, was the French sci did the French scientist have a big mustache and a southern accent? Was <laughs> yeah, so right. this a chip exclusive? <laughs> it says this level of detail. A new world is revealed day after day. He wrote in the tweet, which uh, you can see is once you know it's a piece of trees, though, hilarious to yeah, look at. Once you know it is truly like a charcuterie board yeah. in your eyeball. And then they posted later saying beware of cognitive biases um basically they kind of had to apologize yeah. <laughs> to let people know that the original joke was intended to like encourage people to stay curious about what people in authority are telling them like really yeah to, like, because i feel like all we try to do now is convince dum-dums to right. believe science right. so i'm like bruh you're I know. not helping anybody so that's why they had to um <laughs> Klein, I guess, is the last name of the scientist. A few hours after, I had to say about, about their original sausage star photo that it was as a form of amusement. Let us learn to be wary of arguments from authority. And Whoa. then literally like a few days later said, this is real this time. An actual photo from the James. But Webb I see Space that Telescope. and that looks like it could be a nipple. Right. That's what I'm like. This guy trying to prove a point really broke trust with people that yeah. I think were already very untrusting of him. However, what a hilarious way as a scientist to break trust with an audience. With chorizo. <laughs> with chorizo. Pepperoni planet. I love it. Uh, I thought it was so good. I was so like, why silly. not? People are just trying things. Um, did you see the guy in Canada who put a billboard up to try and swap um, his string cheese for something? I saw a guy try. No, because I read a headline and of course the headline and was like, Man, Toronto man takes out billboard to try to make a dairy trade. I'm like, just tell me what it is. That's exactly what it is. It's literally <laughs> a close-up picture of a piece of string, string cheese. cheese. It says, for trade, one string cheese. Accepting trades for one string cheese. Marble flavor. Still in original packaging. No low balls. I know what I have. With a phone number. How? <laughs> we know how much billboards cost. Right. That I'm like, so like, are you lonely? Did you want, I'm, when this kind of stuff happens, it makes me go, did you get high and say to your friend, I would, I would take out a billboard or whatever. <laughs> like, was there some bet that was like, yeah, I bet I can get news. I can get news well, stories trending on me. This says this article about it's it. An says, says, Angel Domingo, the man behind the billboard, said he found the stick of cheese uh, in his new home in Toronto. And he said he had his experience using resale websites to trade items, including vehicles, car parts and furniture. OK, real uh, items. Yeah. So he said this is the strangest thing I've ever had to put up for an offer somebody told me i it, had to put up for an offer well it sounds like it was a bet he says somebody told me that i wouldn't get anything for it and nobody would want it but i guess people some people mm. really want it he said that he's received <laughs> multiple offers oh one of them um i think the most anybody has offered him he says 
was two Persian cats. <laughs> You're trading cats for two? a string cheese? For a string cheese. That's <laughs> fucked up. Yeah. It hasn't passed its expiration date, by the way. Wow. Okay. And yeah. I would never call something marble. I guess it's the it's like the orange and the white colored cheese intermixed together. I call it swirl. swirl. I call it a swirl. A swirl. Yeah. Wow. Uh, I want some. I want some goddamn string cheese. I know. Isn't this great? On my uh, all these websites that have all these annoying pop up ads, I'm getting Lord de Seraphine ads yes. like crazy all over my computer. That's and our that's, candle, you guys. That's our exclusive candle for our highball house, which you can go order. They're on back order right now. They're on back order, but you can still order it. It just won't get you for a minute. And it looks so cute. The first time it popped up, it's like on every website that I look at now. Ah, well, so I was just going to show you. It Now it changed that I just had a huge banner ad pop up that says the new trick for getting rid of toenail fungus it's genius so why are you getting fed beautiful <laughs> candles and i only get fed weird toe stuff that's i get lots of toe stuff too I and mean, i i don't like it and no. i people got to stop putting the gross toes up there i get these fungus Whoa. ads that pop up that look like Groot it looks like Groot yeah yeah it does, <laughs> yeah, it does. <laughs> terrible I can't even okay I'm thoroughly grossed out um and I also have to go up to UPS because I told Chip I'd mail something for him and yeah I yeah, yeah. <laughs> well be careful leaving your premises I'm terrified. well who knows am I gonna see Chucky or am I going to accidentally be the king of a parade in my neighborhood I don't know ask that guy for a ride up to the UPS yes <laughs> anyway this Ooh. got weird yeah